<laughs> Lilum get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose, so I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Lilum is a bit weird though. It is. We expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum just doesn't convey the image of automa automatons. Just a tip, bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. <laughs> yeah. Bot is akin to call- ooh, harsh. Doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilum? I don't know. I keep wanting to liken it to the name Lilith, and I don't know why that would be it, though. As far as I know, because they all come from a bigger AI called Lilith. Mmm. Look at me go. And... Oh. And Lilum are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Ooh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne, and you almost tore me a new one with your glare. <laughs> oh, wow. See? Like that. It's no big secret, but one of those is that it feels silly when you say it. But it's one of those that feels like you silly. Blah, 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 blah. Which one of us has been drinking here? It's no big secret, but it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well, did you ever watch Model Warrior Julianne? Ugh. That does not sound very good. Not all of it, but my little sister is a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I had everything from the dolls to the costumes to the lunchboxes. It didn't help that it was one of those shows that got strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice, were they? It was beyond nice. The show was about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. <laughs> How the show presented Jules hating her job because it invited enemies. And yet it still found solace in trying to be a role model. The main character wasn't a kid. Julianne was an adult that became a younger when transformed. Wait, what? I'd say it was a pretty ambitious kids' TV show, even by today's standards. Just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty of standards of body image. Yeah? Whoa, you got excited there. And that is the problem. Back when I was obsessed with Jules, I sang songs dressed like her, I even could recite full chapters. Oh man. Something tells me you still can. Oh, I noticed the, uh, she is super drunk. Or, well, her face is super red. I like that the boss can just drink. That's besides the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but when I went to middle school, and what a surprise, <laughs> tweens are jerks. They went out of their way to tease me about things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules, I hold my grudge against those jerks. Sounds rough. You know how most girls worry about their thighs at that age. I worried about the jerks singing the theme, theme tune of the show and mocking me. Ouch. Anyway, so, anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. <laughs> I never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in retrospect. And yet, it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it, though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the kind to always fight with kids bigger than me. I feel like that is not something that she grew out of. Then puberty happened and I became the Miriam- <laughs> oh. Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad. I find that hard to imagine. <clears throat> Around the time I turned 16, I realized what an idiot I was and went on to become who I am today. And the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. Say, boss, how do you like them men? <laughs> 2D. 
2D. Yes, I don't remind it, or I don't mind anything as long as that thing is cute or 2D. How about you? Um, back in high school, I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable. And now, and now, I don't know. I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend starting conflating. <clears throat> started conflating, cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. Oh. Harsh. I also stopped caring about them being successful. I realized about half the time they had no qualms about cheating on me. Or with me. With or on me. Oh. And I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized they were the kind of person I was trying not to become. Not to become stable. There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated. He started being physically ill. Oh. Not only that, but the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing the guy out. Ooh. Hmm. It's an interesting habit. The bed could catch fire, you know. Not you two. I kind of envy Alma for that, at least when she dumps the guys for petty, less petty reasons. Are you okay? I'm fine, it's just all boils down to the fact that I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. I don't remember who Lenore is. She was- oh. Oh, she was the girl in the picture. I forgot our, I forgot her name already. She's gonna show up at the bar someday. I can feel it in my bones. I was, she was all of what I just said. She made me laugh, she had such a good position, or she had a good position and was stable. <clears throat> she was also smart, caring, and why can't I get off my mind off the thing? It's maddening. Maybe I should go and apologize. Maybe I should, maybe that will make e me easier at night, get my mind off of things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but... Arr. Hey Jill, have you tried thinking about clothes for four? <laughs> clothes for... <laughs> Listen, I know how you must feel. But you can't let all of that cloud your senses. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, try distracting yourself. Like with, say, thinking of what clo kind of clothes you can put on four. Yeah. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? <clears throat> Keep in mind you're included in that circle, too, so any results, any insults you hurl will fly right back to you. Anyways, I have this friend I've known for a long time. <clears throat> a red-headed, glasses-wearing gun nut called Iris. That's cool. The one you called for the helmet thing? That one. She's managing, but... <clears throat> A BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. After Nirvana? Nice. It's called Nirvana, and if you thought this city was dangerous, you should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy is nothing to mess with. And means it's an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. She moved the bar. She moved the bar to its own building. Ah, oh, my bad. Uh, something about Nirvana B instead of Nirvana, though. Weird decision. I believe she said she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. Nice. That aside, let's see. Friends, friends. I guess there's also my little sister, but that's a given. Ooh, there's also my old partner from when I was with the Neo San Francisco Police Force. That is cool. Good old Lexi. I should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. I spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate what? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. 
Aside from you, Gil, my si sister, Iris, and Lexi, hmm. I guess there is a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Mostly because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home and college, I went out a lot. But it felt more like going out was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving here is Alma and... no, and Dorothy. I mean, sure, there's always four, but the cat's a hermit and it refuses to go out. And you know, he's a cat. Hey, a cat's fine too, you know? It's very respectable. Okay, boss, I have to know. About what? About your arm. I'd rather not talk about it. Come on, I want to know how you got it. Fine. Yes? I had to use a couple of favors to get it. I accepted. No less than state-of-the-art tech. That's how I got it. That's technically correct, but come on. Why do you want to know how I got it? <laughs> I just want to know more about you. The arm thing is... I liked the idea that she told, like, several different stories about it. Because... That's hilarious. You're always so cool and awesome, and can you at least tell me if it does something cool? It does have a couple of utilities installed, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> There's an HDD in the forearm that I use to save a, a stored assorted data. It has a flashlight and a clock, but many pro prosthetic arms have those nowadays, kind of like watches. How did you feel when you lost it? To be honest, I was sad, but I was also satisfied. Yeah, I lost my dominant arm, but the sacrifice helped a bigger purpose. If I had to lose another limb to accomplish such a thing again, I would totally do it. That is really cool. I don't know what happened, but that sounds neat. But of course, I just hope it doesn't come to that ever again. Now you're just teasing me. You'll hear nothing else from me, young lady. Well. Jill got mostly drunk. Or, well, she was drunk, but... Alright, what's going down? Okay, oh, chapter two. I thought I was, for some reason, gonna get credit rolled. I was like... Just the way it did that. Uh, coming right up. I don't know what that achievement is. But. <clears throat> okay. We will check the stuff here. Oh, boss left the hoodie anyway. Apollo Bank is a getting oh, is getting attacked too. Seems like a lot happened while I was gone. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augmented, uh, I talked about it, but very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to write serious, but I think the augmented I got tired of her. Shame. And now all we'll get is clickbait gonna get worse at the very least. White Knights say there's a ton of people inside the building. At least three people are already dead. Uh oh. Is someone there shooting people? Oh man, this scrolls forever. Alright. <clears throat> Looks like it was from the security from the building, but I have no details yet. Sounds really weird. Come on, Insider Anon, you've gotta give us more doing my best here. Thanks, Based Anon. <clears throat> Some deep stuff happened right there. Explosion registered, and the media is still quiet about it. Can't confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do we have any clue who is doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this group is a new one looking to overthrow the government. Sorry about that. No names have been mentioned, and it looks like it's not a group. But just one person set all this up. That is interesting. And it's just a rumor, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Well, at least that would be useful. 
huh, someone doing stupid stuff on the internet is actually being useful. Alright. Will you read the file? Nah. Oh, and that would explain why four is in quotes when he talks. I'm stupid, I should have put that together before. Before. <laughs> Can't confirm the situation has finally reached its end, the attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, it's actually pretty unsettling. Darn. The approximate- the files from- is available from approximately- what is that, 60,000 sources? Terabytes? That contain- all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside of the bank, which held the files under several layers of physical security. That sounds whack. <laughs> How do you make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write... Got all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time though. Godspeed, Anon. Thanks. Alright, Augmented Eye. How many things do you have? Alright. Wait, Dangers Use Admin has been arrested? Isn't that this guy? Yep. I feel like I should read this one first, then. Poor guy. Cybercrime unit up the admin. Welcome, okay. Again? Oh, they've been arrested before. Lana Smithy. Famous hacker Alex Rabbit graced the popular text forward danger slash UU slash with a new threat which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin known as Furfur for a second time. We have no details to give other than he was arrested as part of an ongoing invest investigation. Crime Unit's Lizette Blank told the Augmented Eye during a call, We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about the arrest, Furfur would not... <clears throat> would only respond with a calm, not this again. That's hilarious. Nano Camo is now making smart underwear. Oh god. You just thought about looking up prices. D did not. <laughs> That's funny. If you if underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, nano camo as you covered. What? What? But what's the Yeah, okay. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, nano machines. They plan to release a line of underwear that can change the look with the spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. And just its color to black, and you will barely notice. That won't change the smell, though. They're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this innovative product, the PR representative told the Augmented Eye. I'm already using them. Super comfy, if you ask me. Well, if they are comfortable, then there's that. GSF January 4th card announced. 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke Headlining by Lana Smithy. <clears throat> Wrestling? My boss made me curious. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome. I imagine that stands for Glitch City Fighting Dome? Event. But it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts features the great workers such as the great DK and Errants. Full car glow. 66 American. That was super weird. Oh, alright. I just watched some light bounce off of this mirror that I've got attached. This tiny mirror I've got attached to my jacket. And I thought it was like something flying around for a second, but it was just reflections. Red Comet Jr. versus Nagisa, women's champion. Someone said that Red Comet was the name that, uh, or didn't, I think that Dana just said that was what her name was. Roy Campbell <laughs> versus Aaron. Okay. 
All right, Colonel. This is a wrestler. That's hilarious. Jack Baum and Blaze versus Hooli and Karakulta tag team champion. Osuna versus Siegfried. Akito. All right. My boss made me curious. I'm gonna check to see if there's no. Nope. It looks like there's nothing with Kira and Miki going on. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go return because I kinda just skipped over this. A Dharma she saw getting one will prevent her from getting too distracted. Alright. Make sure to have the 8,000 needed. Yikes. Alright, the 24th, it's the 19th. We should be able to make enough money by then. I'm assuming that the. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, this has been a pretty lengthy recording session of Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender action. I should probably save it. Uh, we'll save on that one, I suppose. Alright, so, next time I guess we'll continue on with chapter 2 of the game. I don't know how many chapters there are, I imagine. I don't know, maybe three? Three weeks of a game, I suppose? I don't know. I don't... I thought I saw something in the background that was interesting, but it was just, I don't know, more of the same stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching, see you next time, and as always, follow me to Apex.